Before Scott Steiner even set foot in a wrestling ring, he made a name for himself as a collegiate competitor. It was that early success that eventually springboarded him to incredible heights in this business. Whether part of a tandem or on his own, Steiner's always been one thing, a legitimate contender. You put this man in any match, and he's got a solid chance at winning it. I have to agree with Aaron Steiner walked through the doors of WWE with the skills, build, and drive to be a top superstar. And then there is Noam Dar, who has accomplished so much at such a young age. Dar is burning bright like a Scottish supernova, and the opposition is about to get scorched. Well, good. See what I did there, Sexton? Supernatural power! Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Someone just threw their plan out the window. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Prime opportunity now for him to get some separation and gather himself. Release on the German suplex. Just launched. Scott looks to be in control here. Dar's defensive instincts need to kick in. And did you hear the impact of that? If I'm Scott Steiner and I'm looking at this match, I have to think my raw power is the best difference maker I've got. So Steiner has to fully unleash his freakish strength if he wants the W. I could definitely see Steiner's muscle tipping the scales here. Ah, oh, they picked the ankle. And a back elbow. From behind. On the apron, look out below! This match is spilled out to the ringside area, and as we can see, tension's really running high now. Oh uh, yeah, we should probably clear the road, guys. Oh, no Noam Dar is just getting knocked around. This is just Steiner fully unleashing his power. He's using those muscles to knock his opponent around. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Good timing with that reversal. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage. Lights out, DDT connects. Started as a match, now it's a test of will. Oh, uh, here we go! Suplex! <laughs> what? Thanks for coming. That might be all Scott needs. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. He's got it locked in! It's locked in! Now would be a wise time. Taps out! And that's all. She wrote. Here is your winner, Scott Steiner. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. in size, he more than makes up for in brains. He's a nerd, Saxton. That's why you like him. You two probably sat at the same table during lunch. Carmelo Hayes has a lot going for him tonight, Corey, but what does he have going against him? Overconfidence. Carmelo deservedly believes his own hype. 
but we know that can backfire too. Melo needs to keep his head in the game. Axiom at the mercy of his opponent. Carmelo is just unloading attacks. And talk about giving a DDT with authority. Uh. Max slam with some attitude. Charisma. Effective arm drag. Put the arm for a Fujiwara arm bar. Ah, uh, Fujiwara arm bar applied. Getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. This axiom is something special. Saving us from having to sit through that. Oh, tiebreaker. Cover. Stops the count before it, too. And those kickouts are only going to get harder. No way. Somersault plancha to the floor. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. back in under the ropes. He's got him in the crosshairs. Hayes, he's thinking big. Off the top. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. He is just reeling from that offense. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Oh, Sit-out slam. Setting foot in the ring now. Oh, he knew what was coming. He must have seen that coming. Momentum in this one. This has become all Carmelo. That is gonna hurt. That's Hayes proving just how deep his arsenal is. Offense that looks good and pays mighty dividends. Hayes hits nothing but net. Can Hayes put things away here? That's gotta be it. There's two. He stays alive. He stays alive. Somehow, some way, escapes defeat. Still alive. And the heaviest hitter in the arsenal was not enough. Carmelo Hayes with a super into the cover. And that can vanquish Axiom. Two. It's over. All in a night's nice work. Here is your winner, Carmelo Hayes. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. Underway, it won't be long now until there's furniture in the ring. You know, hopefully, these superstars don't make the WWE Universe wait too long. These people want to see some tables. Power for the suplex. Lifting up their opponent. What's in store? Oh my! Discus punch. Setting up. Suplex. Vertical suple. Quick take down there. And we just saw some serious offense. Rick continues to maintain the advantage. Yeah, Rick is really grinding the opposition down.
Coming in hot. Back in the ring now. Hold it. Belly to belly. What the leg? Look at this. She just tossed the leg. She's got thrown around like a sack of you know what. He is efficient and dangerous with his offense thus far. Grayson has to start volleying back somehow. The thing about a tables match is you can't really avoid contact with a table unless you can set up a table with telekinesis. But you have to be hyper aware of your surroundings because this match can end instantly. That's right, Corey. The only time... On the apron. Good Lord. Taking flight. There are plenty of ways battling in this area could end in serious harm. <laughs> oh, and that was offense with a hurtful purpose. And what's he looking for here? With all this in mind, take it from me. Nothing good ever comes from rearranging furniture. Steiner seems to be executing his game plan. Steiner is making an opportunity for himself. He reverses it. Waller knew that was coming. Kick. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. Hoist it up. Some impressive strength. Dominator! And now thrown back into the ring. Looks like he has something planned with his table, guys. I don't want to know. win an absolute statement by the victor here tonight what a steamrolling in the gut wrench and an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there oh nothing fancy with that boot he's feeling the effects of that last hit taking a few licks here but nothing that'll keep you down for the count of ten dead lift gut wrench suplex things not going well now for angel cena putting himself in the driver's seat for me, Corey. Hypothetically, what are some tactics you'd use to win an ODQ match? Well, I'd stash some kendo sticks beforehand. Maybe have a buddy waiting to 
give me a much needed hand. Maybe throw Saxton like a fastball special. That's the beauty of a no disqualification match. You can do all that and not get dinged. The sky is the limit. Driven down with a powerbomb. Set it up. Nice suplex. Vertical suplex. Kick to the body. What's coming next? Hooked up. Face buster. Whoa. Oh, no. Crashing hard onto the floor. That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. The electric chair down for the drop. Squaring off right by our announce table. of this match is just ahead. He needs to give himself some room to regroup fast. All the way up. Sidewalk slam delivered. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me. Great counter. Look at this. Going counter for counter. Locks in the gut wrench. That was a hell over there, guys. Hits to the core like that will render you useless. Constant pressure being put on by Cena. Can Angel recover from this adversity? Run out of ringside and back to the mat. And out of the ring he goes. Taking it outside the ring now. And he gets set back into the ring. Whoa. Ah, John Cena has it where he wants him. You can't see me. This is vintage Cena. The five knuckle shuffle. Placed in the corner. in the worst way now. Oh man, the referee just counted to seven. Unconscious. The official has to call him. Here is your winner, John Cena! This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come.
Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Uh, using a handful of hair to deliver the snap bear. And this is even worse, my goodness. And Maurice is taking control in this match. Yeah, Shotzi finding herself on the wrong end of every exchange. Shotzi might be able to start mounting something here. Could be a sign of Shotzi turning her fortunes around. City backbreaker. All right, that's it. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. Ooh, what a damaging blow. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. She's starting to drag a little bit. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Oh, step up in Zagari, right in the ear. Oof, back elbow puts a stop to things. with a stop now setting up her opponent for a little French pain. Oh my goodness, this may be over quick. Can she hang on? She won't let go. She's squeezing for... Not sure why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. Ah, uh, Shotzi caught by the counter. Face buster. The end is looming now. I don't think she even knows where she is at this point. You really got to keep your head on a swivel when facing off against Maurice, don't you, Corey? It is a good idea to keep ringside in your sight, but you can't lose focus on the task at hand. Maurice is far too shrewd to let an opening slip through her fingers. Throws her back in from ringside. Oof, and all the impact brought to the knee. Maurice, kiss! Au revoir, Byron. Shotzi's in big, big trouble. Cover! Two! Right now, I just don't know what it's gonna take. The heaviest artillery has been used, but it's not enough for the three. You doing here, Corey? Now taking control. Trouble! In trouble! Tap out! She's got to tap! Here is your winner, Maurice! And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. in the women's division. Yeah, Carter's in-ring style has been perfectly connected, blending brawling strikes with lucha athleticism. That combination has proven difficult for many opponents to overcome. Not to mention her toughness, Byron. Carter is not an opponent to be taken lightly. But she's facing one dangerous superstar. Dakota Kai won't hesitate to stab you in the back. Friend or foe, if she thinks it'll get her what she wants, that deceitful ruthlessness makes her tough to contend with. That's a little harsh. I'd say Kai just has a defiant confidence. The courage to put herself first and look out for number one. What's important to her is winning matches, not making friends. Kane and Carter pumping up the crowd a little bit here. Ooh. Ooh, look at her answering back. Nope, rolls through. Super kick. 
And now Dakota is feeling heavy pressure. Kai's got to get it together to avoid disaster. Still relatively early into her WWE career, Caden Carter has seen a tremendous amount of success, Corey. You think there's any way her opponent can try to derail her? Of course, Cole. While Carter's an incredible athlete, it's fairly easy to overpower her. If you can use your strength and keep her close, you should be able to prevent her from getting the speed for that patented high-flying offense. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Oh, good measure. Just look at Carter gain the momentum in this one. Everything's in Carter's favor now. Oh, this, this may end it right here, right oh, here. Oh. Flipping power driver, spiked. Off into the pin. Two count powers through after two. She's still as determined as ever. Oh, right to the kidneys. God, please. She is not backing down. There's a crucifix, nicely done. Caden delivered that move with all of her athletic genius. Picks the leg of their opponent, steps through. Here we go! Rolling death line! And just able to make it to the ropes. That was a close call. She covers for the pin! Great officiating as the ref noticed she was on the ropes. Harsh forearm draped across the middle rope. And down! Oof. Set on from the apron! She's sent back in under the ropes. Oh, now she's looking to apply the pressure with this submission maneuver. Able to shift her weight and escapes. Takedown, crushing double stop. Quick thinking pays off. It's T.O. For the win. Two count. And this one's over. Here is your winner, Kaden. So perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. Zoe Stark, a woman who really embodies, in my view, the term fighting spirit. Zoe Stark has a hell of a pre-WWE resume. She's been tapped as one to watch by all her trainers, and she's completed a year-long rehab ahead of schedule. If there's an obstacle, safe to say she can, will, and has found her way past it. Perhaps she'll overcome an obstacle again here. And then you have a competitor like Dakota Kai. Certainly with no shortage of confidence coming into this match, you have to wonder if that could possibly be her downfall there. Only if you haven't been paying attention, Saxton. I know you think there is such thing as too much confidence, but in Kai's case, it's only made the captain of Team Kick that much more dangerous. Jeez. Oh, man! 
She's feeling the hurt here. She can withstand the punishment, though. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Relentless attack from Dakota here. Kai is being smart and not letting up. But she still has to do more to get this fully in her face. Oh. Springboard misses the target. Jumping snapmare. What a move. Zoe Stark's still a relative newcomer here in WWE. So what does she need to do to get people's attention in this match? Every match is an opportunity to show the world what you can do, and Zoe Stark can do a lot. She's a wealth of knowledge, and you can tell by what she does in the ring. Don't just lean on one skill, lean on all of them. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Two. Oh, it gets put into the barricade. Whip back into the ring. Kicks to the face. Oh, man. Three. Turn your lights out. Stark can't stop this string of offense. Kai is pressing the advantage. Cinches up the arm in a series of boots. Hooked up. Fisherman suplex. Works the pin attempt and won. I'm happy she did. I don't want this match to end. Rolling next snap. Brutal. Ooh, leg snap. And again in the other direction. You can sense what her intentions are here. Middle rope. A missile drop kick from the middle rope. Dakota is overwhelming her opponent here. Yes, yeah, she's just... Dakota Kai. Feel it, guys. Feel it. it is. I'm feeling it. The submission is locked. Tap out. And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner, Dakota. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. Nikita. And this is why Baszler is so dangerous. Chandler, brilliant. Right to the back of the knee. Uh-oh, this is just vicious, vicious arm stop. Byron, what could be the deciding factor in a tables match setting? It is all about being able to survive a truly chaotic environment. You need next level awareness to avoid accidentally losing the match. And some of the biggest upsets in WWE history have occurred in tables matches. I think it might happen again here tonight. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Clearly thinking a steel chair is what's needed right about now. Floor, what 
What's she gonna do? She will wisely return to the ring now. Kick right to the leg. Find a moment to strike. No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Oh! She's setting up a table in the corner. Something bad's about to happen here, guys. She heads into the ring. Unpacks a well-placed punch. That gets reversed on Nikita. Yokes up their opponent. Sidewalk slam delivered. A relentless attack being brought to Nikita. And Shayna is on a roll. She's between a rock and a hard place right now. Oh, what's this gonna be? Uh-oh! That's it! Calling it by knockout! Here is your winner, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler! No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt-kicking. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. We're going to see Caden Carter and Katana Chance. And in the other corner, they will be dealing with Raquel Rodriguez and Aaliyah. And there is a lot of animosity growing between these teams. I expect all four competitors to throw caution to the wind. Hell of a lot of fight in Caden Carter. She is not backing down. With authority! <laughs> what a punch. Uh oh, John! Oh, that might have just broken something. And Caden Carter is going full tilt here. Raquel's got to find her spot and take advantage. From the middle rope. Oh, a splash. Caden Carter pumping up the crowd a little bit here. Ooh. Let their opponent set up. Drop kick to the back. Set right into the corner. Oh, going up to the top rope. Rocket launcher. She's losing some steam now. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. Lands face first. Cross 
across the top rope, all the way to the floor. A bit of showmanship from Katana. Rodriguez with the nice turnaround. She's getting herself in the zone, but she shouldn't hesitate much longer. Cylinders. 